Alaska's North Slope covers more than 88,000 square miles. Its southern border is the North Slope of the Brooks Range Mountains. Its northern shores are met by two marginal seas of the Arctic Ocean, the Beaufort and Chukchi Seas. With the exception of the 414 mile long Dalton Highway, also referred to as the whole road which connects Fairbanks and Prudhoe Bay. The North Slope region is otherwise disconnected from the rest of Alaska, relying on waterways and small plains for transportation. This gives us opportunity to see the tallest mountain on North America, Denali at 6,190 meters or 20,139 feet. It is also known as Mount McKinley, itself testifying to the power of continental drift and subduction zones. The actual land of the North Slope was sediment at the bottom of a shallow ocean 100 million years ago. Genetic drift or plate tectonics is how Alaska was formed. With action of the Arctic Alaska plate from above, the Pacific plate from below Alaska and the additional sliding collision of the North American plate. This tectonic action has caused the North Slope to be a passive continental margin, truly a land of movement. This remote land may seem a world away, but every American is connected to this amazing and hostile land through the wildlife that migrates to it each year. Every spring, more than 200 species of birds travel to nest in this Arctic land. They come from every state in the nation as well as six other continents to feast on the spring explosion of insects and plants. At times, the moon can be seen gazing jealously from above, down upon the north slope of Alaska. Enticed even further by the shape-shifting Aurora Borealis, being located towards the top of the Earth, the Aurora Borealis dances with the spirits of the land, taking and giving power that mixes freely with the people, land, and animals. Watching the Aurora Borealis, we can see the power that connects us to the land, sky, and stars. Like mystic giants dancing in the sky, each one with a purpose. Watching them in person is like seeing the universe. Standing under the lights, one can almost hear and feel the crackling of the sky. Clear winter night skies reveal the best light shows. Following the run of the light, one can see the curvature of the earth. Life on the North Slope can be harsh. It's an environmental agreement with different meanings and outcomes for each form of life that has chosen the North Slope. Some arrive in the spring and leave in the fall, but most creatures remain all year. Positioned towards the top of the earth, 
the North Slope has a different relationship with the sun. The sun uses the coastal tundra horizon as an opportunity to create an artistic palette of light and shadows. There are 31 different herds of caribou in Alaska. Several of these groups will get together, forming large herds. The porcupine caribou herd is one of the large groups that access the coastal tundra. The porcupine caribou herd makes the longest land migration of any animal on Earth, over 2,700 miles each year. This intense migration serves to find their favorite food, lichen, escape the swarming, biting insects, and to give birth to their calves. When migration anxiety, Zugunruha, begins, it draws the caribou to the North Slope. It's an environment that caters to their needs and challenges their endurance. During the fall, as they begin their return migration, it's now they begin their courtship, ensuring next year's generation is brought to life on the tundra. Polar bears are the largest extant species of bear. Its normal habitat of the North Slope is the coastal environments where they have access to sea ice and seals. But as sea ice is decreasing, they find themselves entering human camps and communities. While their range is coastal habitats, they are sometimes sighted 20 to 25 miles inland on the tundra environment. Brown bears have always had a presence on the North Slope. The names grizzly bear and brown bear are reference to the same species. The grizzly bear is identified as living in a mountainous boreal landscape whereas the brown bear is commonly referred to as a bear living in a coastal environment. The bears found on the coastal tundra are in fact called brown bears. Mm -hmm. 
brown bears are more aggressive and less fearful of humans. Some studies on the brown bear population resulted in the calculation of one bear per 300 miles. Although the brown bears tend to gather around or inspect these human settlements, North Slope companies, camps and communities have a very good awareness program and work to provide safety to the people and the bears. An interesting did you know fact, did you know that the brown bear and the polar bear have the same ancestral lineage? Their DNA is similar showing one came from the other, allowing them to breed and have offspring. These offspring are referred to as a peasley for polar bear and a grizzly. The question remains, since the polar bear and brown bear came from the same species, which one came first, the polar bear or the, the brown bear? The answer is, the polar bear evolved from the brown bear. Thank you for joining us here on Alaskan Spirit Traveler. The Alaskan North Slope is truly a world out of time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.